I'm here in the studio today I'm with Lee Scott from the Starag Group. Um, we've been talking recently uh, about aerospace machining. We specifically covered aluminium. We've also covered titanium. You can find those episodes across our channels. Today, we're going to be talking about composite machining within the aerospace sector, the challenges that uh, people might face and why the Starag Group's machines are perfectly placed to be able to um, solve problems and machine this material. Lee, give us an example of what a composite part on an aircraft might be. Well, for, for us, we, we're specifically looking for very high accuracy applications where, where, um, where you may be machining a, um, an outside shape of a composite component or having to put holes in maybe through composite or composite metallic stacks in a very, very accurate location. So these, these, these for us would typically be on a, on a military aircraft, but could be on civil. And maybe may components from you know, as big as this table, which is a few meters long. It could be quite large as well, I'm imagining from what you're saying. Sure, and, sure. And what would be a problem with machining that type of material? What would, what would machinist experience as issues potentially that machines need to be built to, over, to overcome? Well, health, health and safety is a big thing because composite doesn't chip like a, like a metallic would. So you, you've obviously got to dust. So you, you either cut wet or if you cut dry, you have to have a very good effective extraction system on the machine. Um, with a composite, as, as you're cutting... Um, is it quite brittle as well? Well, it's, it, it's a laminate. So as, as, as you're cutting, if you're not careful, you can spread the laminate. So you, you, need, you need to be able to keep the laminates together. And if you're drilling, um, the, the, the kind of holes that we're producing, you want to be able to produce the drilled and countersunk hole in a single shot with good life to very good size in the perfect position. So a composite panel can come off and be replaced in minutes. I'm, in, I'm in, guessing in there's the more focus on speed than potentially power, speed and precision than power in, in this. Well, it's, it's more about accuracy. Um, of, of course, you want to produce the, the, these components as quickly as, as, as possible. But uh, if you take a panel off an aircraft, you want to be able to put a panel back on an aircraft with a perfect, um, a perfect fit. So what we're able to do um, is volumetrically map the, um, the working envelope of the machine tool and produce um, any geometrical compensation so that when we cut a, a five axis profile, we're within sort of 30 to 40 microns, true five axis volumetric. Um, so, so every part is exactly the same. And taking all that into account then, what, what machines within the Starag group do you provide that achieve such results within composite machining? Well, we, we've, we've got machines from Droop and Rhine called the FOGS machine, located around the world for, for, for composite machining. What's interesting with this machine is the volumetric accuracy. So what we're able to do by taking a series of measurements with lasers and mirrors is, is volumetrically map the complete working area within the inside of the machine and then use compensation to bring the tool tip to exactly the same place. Now, if a machine repeats and you have an error and it goes back to the same place, you can then compensate for any errors and you can tweak a few microns. Most machines of that size aren't accurate enough to repeat. So you take a measurement, it goes to a different place next time. So what we're able to do is to be able to trace the outside of a component within 30 to 50 microns, true five axis volumetric measure measurements. And of course, I mean, composites, I know we're specifically talking about the aerospace sector, but it is quite big for you because it's, it, it's beyond aerospace as well, isn't it? And I suppose you face similar challenges, whatever industry you're machining this material with it, within. Well, we're, we're, the aluminium and, and titanium markets for us are massive. We, the composite market, we, we're focusing really on ultra precision machining of composites, not just general machining of carbon fiber. So where we're looking at is quite niche, but we like to think we're best in class at what we do on composites. So there you go. If you're interested in machining composites uh, within the aerospace sector, then you can talk to the Starag Group about the machines that Lee talks about. Thanks, Lee.